how to make stickers on canva to sell hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create your own stickers on canva and start selling them online on etsy and print them via printable so let's get into it now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head on over to canva so on canva what you're going to do is you're going to sign up with your account whatever email account you have you're going to have to sign up to use canva and once you sign up you can start designing your stickers so what we're going to do is we're going to click on custom size over here and you're going to make sure you convert this from pixels onto inches so make sure it is in inches and then we're just going to add 10 by 10 inch as the basic canvas size you can add whatever canvas size you want i just like to use a square it just helps me you know align my stickers and once i add my square what i like to do is i just like to zoom in as much as possible and what i'm going to do to just create my sticker collection is very simple and easy is i'm just going to go into the element section and once i go on to the element section i am just going to uh, let's say i'm picking the theme for this collection and i want this to be valentine's day themed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for heart and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the graphic section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick out some of these designs so you can pick out more complex designs or simple ones but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick out a few simple ones like these you know basic hearts and i'm just going to place these over here and what i'm going to do is once i have placed these i'm just going to search for love over here and i'm going to stay in the graphic section and what i'm going to do is i am going to just keep on scrolling until i find something that i like and I'm going to pick out this cat. I think this looks pretty cute. And I'm just going to resize this. I'm going to place it right on the center. And I'm going to keep on scrolling to find more designs that I like. So we're just going to keep on looking. And you want to make sure these are still designs. So this is pretty cute as well. And I'm going to change the color on these ones into like pink. And then I'm going to place these over here like this make sure you are leaving a appropriate sized gap between your designs because that is very essential you're gonna have to be able to cut these stickers so you want to make sure that the distance you're leaving between the stickers is good enough so once i have done that i'm going to click on see all so if you like a design you're going to get recommendations beneath it and then you're going to find you know similar designs to the one that you selected and we're just going to pick out some more designs out of here so i am just going to use this one because this is pretty cute and it's pretty simple and i'm going to pick out this one as well and we're just going to add these all to our collection and leaving gaps for the stickers to be cut i'm just going to add another one and we're just going to do this like a two row kind of sticker and i'm just going to place this one over here like this and now once you have done that you're just going to click on download over here and you can download this as a pdf you can download it as a png jpg or pdf print which is the highest quality so i'm just going to download this and then what you're going to do is you're going to go on to printable so on canva once you have designed your stickers how do you get them printed well i like to use printable you can use any other third party printing website you know you could use redbubble as well you could use any other platform and from here you can just search for stickers and they're going to give you the stickers templates that they have so they have two kinds of stickers and they have the kiss cut stickers and they have a kiss cut sticker sheet and we're just going to click on the kiss cut sticker sheet because this is like multiple stickers in one it's not a simple sticker and what you're going to do is you're going to click on start designing and then once you click on start designing you're going to click on create your order and then once you click on create your order you're just going to click on over here and you're going to begin adding your little stickers so what we're going to do is we're going to click on choose file and we're going to click on upload so we're just going to upload our image and the one that we just downloaded we're going to click on our design and we're going to upload it over here so our file has been uploaded we're going to click on upload oh wait we're going to click on select over here i'm sorry about that so once you click on select you can see this is our sticker sheet this is how it's going to look like so you can see we have a lot of empty place on our sticker sheet and i could have probably added another row of stickers but oh well it's fine now once you have added your stickers you're going to click on crop and you can just apply the crop onto the excess borders of your canvas as well if you want 
but I'm just gonna cancel this and what I'm going to do is after I have placed my stickers on here I can click on transform and I can you know rotate this entire image block any way that I want you can really you know adjust the overall alignments you know all those nitty-gritty stuff over here as well if any of it is left because most of it you're going to accomplish on Canva but if any of it is left you can do that over here as well and once you do that you're gonna see this notification on your right side that stickers will merge if they are placed too close so you need to make sure that there is an appropriate distance between your stickers once we have done that we're just gonna scale to fit this and it was scaled pretty nicely so we're just gonna scale this like so and I'm just gonna click on over here and once I've done that, I'm just going to click on continue. And just like that, I have my print file and then my generating file. So once your print file has been uploaded, you're going to click on like the mock-up and you're going to click on preview. And then you're going to get a preview of your sticker. So over here, you're going to be able to see these very thin fine lines about where your stickers are going to be cut. And any of those, if they are merging, you can go back into your Canva design and you can, you know, create more space between the stickers so they don't merge together. Now, once you have done that, you're going to get a shipping, you're going to get your price estimate, you're going to get your item, and you can also search for bulk prices on Printful. And that is how easy it is to create stickers on Canva and then start creating them or selling them uh, via Printful. So once you print them on Printful, you can choose to sell them on Etsy or any other store platform that you have. You can even create your own e-commerce store if you want. And you can just, you know, sell them on Etsy because they do sell pretty well on a platform like that and the great part about using this technique is that you can create as many stickers as you want so this is a kind of smaller canvas uh, if you want a larger canvas you can just go on and you can just search for a4 on canva and then you can just take a a4 size document which is you know the standard size of paper and what you're going to do is you're going to take a blank a4 paper so like this you can just create you know a black simple or any kind of simple bordered a4 paper and once i do that i can you know place stickers onto the white section or you know you can remove the borders as well but if you want to make your stickers look interesting you can you know place them within borders just to make people feel like your stickers you know are of superior quality and someone actually put some thought into them and they were designed well so you can do that as well and i'm just gonna search for flowers and what i recommend is search for a bit more complicated designs because simple design stickers are pretty much available anywhere so you can just go for you know zodiac so i'm just gonna search for zodiac signs because those are pretty complicated but they're very interesting so you can see these zodiac designs over here and i can just place this over here I can use all of these different designs that are pretty complicated but still very interesting looking and I can just place them over here like this and you can also customize the colors as well on the graphics on Canva to make them fit your theme. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own stickers using Canva and get them to sell on Redbubble or Printful or any other platform. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.